frightened, forced out of bed by two armed men and then tied up. Police say that's what happened to 11 Temple University students at their off-campus apartment this morning. With some quick thinking, two of the students managed to alert their families to call for help. Eyewitness News reporter Ryan Hughes spoke with those students. He is live tonight outside of police headquarters. Ryan. And Jessica, luckily no one was hurt, but those victims tell me they were held at gunpoint, locked in the basement, and their apartment was ransacked. Police say those two suspects, they stole a car. They stole cell phones and money, but they may have been looking for something else. My heart's still pounding, you know, 200,000 beats per minute. And I drove down here. This father raced to North Philadelphia Friday morning after his daughter sent a message with her laptop over social media while locked in a basement that two men with guns were robbing her apartment just off the campus of Temple University. They were all taken into the basement and tied up and. Uh, and the uh, home invasion might have lasted about an hour and a half. Police say the armed robbery happened in the 1300 block of North 15th Street around 7 a.m. 11 Temple students were inside the apartment at the time sleeping. The victims tell CBS3 they were woken up, forced into the basement at gunpoint, and then ordered to hand over their credit cards, keys, and cash. They wanted each of our phones. Um, they were looking for drugs, but we told them we didn't have any drugs. Overall, it was just like a violating, <clears throat> violating experience. That's how you get in. The students say they have been complaining for months that the gate outside the off-campus apartment does not work properly and claim the property management company never fixed it. I reached out multiple times. They didn't come and fix. My mom reached out to them. They didn't come and fix it. Now this group of students is left feeling traumatized and unsafe. It's our senior year, which like also kind of sucks because like it should be like one of the better times of college. And the students tell me they did receive an email from the property management company this morning after the robbery that that lock will be fixed. So I reached out to the property management company asking why was it not fixed much sooner. As of right now, we have not heard back and no arrests have been made in this case. We are live tonight outside police headquarters. Ryan Hughes, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Ryan, keep us updated. Thank you.